Hi guys, in this video we will talk about best careers after lockdown. This is a little different than other work from home videos that we have on this channel. This covers best careers after lockdown which may or may not be a work from home option. But I think this will help many of us and many of the people that we know. So do share it with your friends and family who are looking for career advice at this point in time. Whether they are looking for best careers to choose after school or whether they are looking to make a career shift right now. So let's start out and talk a little bit about best career options after lockdown. Now this video is not just about the best careers after lockdown or a recession, but it is also about how to get started with these careers and why they are so recession proof. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, owner of Work From Home blog Mrs. Taku Studio. We make videos on working from home and making money online, so take a moment and hit that red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Now the first and the foremost career option that I want to talk about is to become an app developer. With coronavirus, a lot of businesses were pushed to take a step to go digital. In fact, not only businesses, but each one of us, our parents, our relatives, our friends were forced to go digital. A lot of businesses bloom because of this, because they worked on creating apps and tech to support work from home or support families through lockdown. So be it grocery shopping, medicine delivery, Arogya Setu, Paytm, Google Pay, Zomato, Urban Clap, etc. We have been using a lot of apps. Now, in short, businesses have realized the importance of having an app and being on their user's phone versus advertising on billboards or through flyers, which is the traditional method. Now, if you're interested in tech, you can take online classes to learn coding and get into app development. You don't necessarily need an engineering degree to be an app developer. All you need is technical aptitude and ability to code and create apps that work well. So you can start by taking a free or a paid course online, learn through YouTube videos and reach out to people locally or in your network and offer to build some basic apps. Now this can then be used to show as your experience to any company or startup that you want to apply to. Now, in fact, you can also build your career as a freelance app developer and work with several clients at once. Right now, companies are a little wary of hiring employees, so giving them an option of freelancing can really work out well. Now, following from what we were already talking about, you can also think of becoming a UI UX designer. Just like an app developer, this can also be your full-time job, a 9 to 5 normal job or a freelancing career. UI and UX is all about user interface and visuals. Now how the user of the app or the website interacts with it, how easy it is or difficult it is, the aim of a good UI designer is to ensure that the app or the website is easy to use and to navigate. That means they don't have to check out user manuals, search until they're tired to find something on the app or Google it up to check how to do something on the app or the website. A good UI blends easily with the things are usually. Now it is important that the app or the website user can easily navigate because if they can't, they will never ever use your app again. They'll never, they're not likely to use your app again. This essentially becomes important when we are talking about older generations going digital at this time. And remember, just like our parents who are not very tech savvy. The best way to start out is to take an online course again, paying attention to designs around you, look at the apps that you use and think about how you could make it easier to navigate or what you would change in them. In my research, I found a post on how to go about becoming a UX UI designer without a degree and I will link it in the description box below. So go check it out. So comment below and let me know which app do you find the easiest to use. Say something like I find Zomato easy to use or I find the YouTube app extremely easy to navigate through. The next career option and my favorite career option and one of the best career options after lockdown is to become a digital marketing specialist. Now by now I have made it abundantly clear that one thing that lockdown has achieved is to push businesses and people to go digital. That means businesses need to have a digital presence if they want to sell online, whether it is services or products a blog, social media pages, advertisements, search engine optimization, etc. And this is where a digital marketing expert like you can come into the picture. Now, digital marketing is a lot of things. You don't really need to be an expert in everything, but that said, you will still need to know about everything, the basics of everything. Now, digital marketing could be anything from content writing, content creation, social media management, social media ads like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, search engine optimization, etc. 
Now the best way to start out is to take a simple digital marketing course online and reach out to your local businesses or friends wanting to push their work online. So you can help that auntie in your apartment building who sells suits or snacks, the dear grocery store that you always buy from, or that friend of yours who's trying to kickstart their yoga classes. As a digital marketer, you have a bright future, whether you take up nine to five job or become a freelancer. Now, digital marketing is definitely, definitely, definitely here to stay for years to come. And the only thing that can happen in this area are advancements and you will need to keep up with it. So comment below and let me know that one thing you will start learning today to become a digital marketing expert. Say something like, I want to learn search engine optimization at my first step towards digital marketing career. The next one is fitness and nutrition. Now, the one thing that lockdown and coronavirus has taught us is to focus on our mental health and our physical health. That means people are now a lot more focused on their fitness and on their nutrition. You can train to become a nutritionist and a fitness trainer, be it a yoga trainer, Pilates, Zumba, gym, etc. Now, instead of the traditional route, you can take up your business online. So you can take online coaching classes, um, one-to-one -one sessions, one-to-many sessions, or create courses that are there to stay. Now, according to Forbes, since March 2020, consumers are actually working out even more than before with 56% of respondents exercising at least five times per week. This is because they get the services from the comforts of their home and it is easy to take them. Now, following yoga, the most popular virtual bookings are high intensity interval trainings, Pilates and bar. There also has been an increased booking of virtual meditation classes during this lockdown because let's be honest, all of us have been mentally frustrated during this lockdown. The next one had to be online education. With coronavirus and lockdown, all educational institutes, be it schools, colleges, nurseries, play schools, etc., everything is shut down, everything is online. Everything is shifted online, Everything. everyone is taking online classes. So considering parents are also working from home, it is getting more and more difficult for them to ensure that their kids are learning properly. So they resort to online tuitions or online one-on-one -on -one classes. Now this is where you can jump in and provide classes online. Start by spreading the word amongst your friends, families, and neighborhood. Once you get a few clients, you can then make a shift to online presence, create a Facebook group, Instagram group, WhatsApp, etc. Now, if not this, you can always look at jobs as an online tutor with universities, schools, etc. who are extensively hiring right now for tech-savvy teachers. There are also startups like White Hat Junior, QMath, etc. who are always looking for online tutors. The next one is online selling. Now, the one thing that all of us have done during this lockdown is to buy online. Whether it is services or products, we have all shopped online. So, if you can learn how to sell online, you have a great skill at hand which businesses are ready to pay for. You can either learn how to sell and manage customers and get a good job with an e-commerce company or a product-based company, or you can start your own venture and sell products and services online. The one venture that I saw blooming during lockdown was to make, make vegetables and milk available through online ordering. It was the need of the hour and whoever got into it did make money. So analyze the market, pick up an essential service or the product, fill that gap and start making money. Online selling is here to stay. The next one is video editing. Now, video editing is the next big thing in digital marketing. Every business is now making an effort to have a video presence, be it YouTube, IGTV, TikTok, etc. It helps create awareness, reach out to more people, engage with them properly and ultimately sell products and services. The best part about video editing is it is fairly quick to learn. So start watching YouTube videos, learn video editing softwares and get started. Do check out my video on how to make money off Instagram. It can help you with a few more ideas to make money and to develop a career. This is it for today. These are some of the best career options to take up after lockdown, after 2020. If you have questions, you know where to go. Comment below and let me know. I will answer each and every comment of yours. You can also watch the video on the best work from home options after 2020. The link is on the screen right now and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe guys and I love you.